Hey there, Whippersnappers, this is Tournament of the Grey. Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Battles. Today we are trying out uh, X and Y uh, Triple Battles. Triple Battles, they recently added this game mode. Um, and I got on and I was gonna I was gonna try and do some OU stuff for Thursday. Um, and, uh, and then I saw something about Triple Battles on the homepage. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot they added that. So I figured I'd come in here and try it out. Uh, interesting little team here, uh, that I let off with. This, uh, Lunar Tone ends up being crazy OP to start. Um, works out really, really well. Really, he's the only reason we won this battle. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, but Zatu comes in and, uh, she's gonna throw up some screens for us. We've got the light screen and the reflect, which are gonna go up. Uh, Shuckle's doing work as well, throwing down the sticky web and, uh, gonna throw up the stealth rocks here in just a second. And uh, while Lunatone's using Hidden Power Rock, take out both the Hunt Crow and the Unpheasant. Um, and then there's Shuckle with the, the Stealth Rocks there, so that's all going to be really helpful. Um, then they bring in their Reggie Ice, who's going to take some, some damage from the Stealth Rocks, the, the Sticky Web. Um, Tauros is going to get the Rock Slide off and kill the Zatu. Um, Shunkle, Shuckle's going to continue to tank some hits uh, from both Entei and Tauros. And uh, Lunatone's going to come in with the Earth Power and get the Entei off the field. So Lunatone takes out the first three team members there all by himself. Uh, kind of hanging out over here on the left uh, where no one can really do much to him for a while there. So that worked out very nicely. Uh, they bring in their Relicant and I'm going to bring in my Porygon. Uh, so Porygon Z comes in. I'm going to use the Tri-Attack on the Tauros which is going to do some good work. Um, Shuckle's going to go ahead and use the Infestation here. Um, uh, well, well... Uh, Lunatone's going to use the Hidden Power first, uh, and then Relicant's going to kill Lunatone with the Focus Blast, which is really disappointing. Would have liked Lunatone to stick around a little longer. Uh, Would have made this battle a little bit easier, but uh, there's Shuckle with the Infestation. Uh, so that's going to do some damage at the end of the turn to Relicant, and it's going to take out Tauros, because Tauros had previously gotten infested. Uh, so that's good. They're down now 2-4, uh, to four, uh, which is a good place to be. Um, and so Porygon's going to throw the Tri-Attack at the Relicant. Uh, Regius is going to be throwing around some Thunderbolts, uh, Wailerine's going to take those like a boss though, uh, get the Surf's up while Shuckle protects, so that works out very nicely. Um, they're going to get some Toxic up here, uh, which is going to be what makes this battle really close. Um, so at this point they're down to Regius, and I'm thinking, oh this is in the bag, but Porygon Z is way out there on the left and he can't hit Regius, um, so he's probably the strongest one I've got right now, but he can't do anything. Uh, and so then Shuckle's there, Shuckle's gonna die. Uh, both Porygon Z and Wowry and uh, my two best guys uh, at this point, at least uh, strongest hitting and tankiest, uh, are po toxic and gonna go down without much trouble here soon. Uh, and then I've got Beautifly who's taking the Thunderbolts from the Reggie Ice. So uh, the Bug, Buys did, Bug Buzz did some good damage off of Beautifly and then we're able to get the Toxic off on the Reggie Ice, which is really helpful. Um, they're gonna, I'm gonna go for Tri Attack, obviously Porygon Z, but we can't hit it, so that's fine. Uh, Beautifly is going to go down to a Thunderbolt, which is going to leave me just with my two highly toxic guys. Um, but thankfully he used that turn to kill Beautifly as opposed to resting, so I uh, was able to take him out there with Walrein. Uh, a nice surf there uh, to finish off the little health that was left. So a fun game mode, a lot of fun, and a good little uh, bonus one for you guys here, I think. Um, that was only eight turns, but you know it took a long time. Uh, so let's uh, let's jump into another one here, shall we? Hey guys, welcome back to the second battle here today of uh, triples, triple battles. Uh, this was a very interesting battle. It was, it was honestly, I had to watch the instant replay back again because it was just so all over the place that I almost couldn't follow it myself. Uh, and it didn't help that I was watching a stream of a friend at the time. But uh, <laughs> so I led off with Polyrath and Mega Bomb to Snow and Plusle here. Um, Polyrath's gonna take a couple of psychics here while he's trying to dish out some some brick breaks. I'm thinking with the normal typing on the Wigglytuff and the steel typing on the Jirachi, maybe he can do some damage, but uh, they both have resistances in Psychic and Fairy, so he's not able to do a whole lot of damage. Mega Bomba Snow goes out without doing a whole lot of good. Um, he takes some uh, he takes a low kick and then he's gonna take a fire blast, and so he's just going out. Um, I bring Greninja in and it forces out the Weevil, or they were switching out anyway. Get the U-turn off on the Roserade, which does decent damage, there's still Grass-type, so that works out. Um, Plusle's gonna throw a Thunderbolt off on the Jirachi, 
And uh, and then Jirachi's going to take Polyrath out, which is unfortunate. I was hoping with the paralysis that it wouldn't get a turn that move, but it, it did. Um, Latios is going to take a Dazzling Gleam and some Hail and get down to 1%. Yikes. Um, so the Jirachi is going to faint here. They're going to bring in their Simisage, and I'm going to bring Greninja back in. Uh, Greninja's going to go for the U-turn on the Simisage and get back out there. So Greninja's just in and out all day, every day. Uh, Ho-Oh comes in. And uh, and then uh, Plus is going to use the Hidden Power Ice on the Simisage to get rid of it. While well, Latios uses the Psy Shock on the Roserade to get rid of that. So they're now down to three. So we are five to three at the moment. Well, four to three now that Latios is uh, is dead there. Um, but uh, so yeah, we got Wigglytuff on the field. We're all getting hit by Hail. We're getting our leftovers on. Greninja's going to come back out. Weavile is going to come out, and then Heatran is going to or Heat more, Heat more is going to come out. Uh, Greninja is going to tank a low kick uh, by eating his Chapelberry, and then uh, he's going to get a Surf off, uh, which is going to hurt everybody uh, on the field, because he's sitting in the middle there, so nobody is spared. Uh, then Plus is going to use the Thunderbolt to get the Weavile off the field, which is very nice, uh, and Ho is going to use the Brave Bird to get the Heat more. Uh, so that worked out very nicely, and then uh, Abama Snow, I guess, does get to do a little bit of work here uh, in this battle because his hail, uh, which he set up when he first came in, I believe is where the hail came from, uh, is what takes out the Wigglytuff. Uh, so he gets the final KO even though he died first. Uh, but yeah, so a very fun little game set, uh, or game mode, rather. Sorry, words. Um, and yeah, I think you guys should definitely give it a shot. Um, if you, if you have not done so already, it, all these different ones, it always just adds a fun, different mechanics, and especially like um, in that first battle where Porygon Z was over on the left and couldn't attack the only opponent left and things like that. Just strategies, you know, you really have to figure out what you're doing on some of this stuff to, to make it work. So I'm hoping they add more stuff like this, like the rotation battles, and although those might actually be in here. I doubt it, but it's possible. Um, all these things just add a little fun extra strategy to the regular gameplay, and it just makes it interesting. Especially for these uh, random little bonus videos uh, that you guys usually get on Wednesdays. Um, I figured it'd be fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have not done so already, leave those likes and subscriptions and comments down below. I appreciate that very, very much. And uh, yeah, as always, I've been Torment Gray, and you guys have been great. Have a good one.